Hey guys and welcome back to another video. I hope you are okay on that side of the screen. And today we do IC Doc solutions for SSDs and also a HP SSD M.2 NVMe, the AX950, which we have seen here uh, in the past. Great speeds. A link will be right over here. This is the two terabyte version and I did use it while testing the IC Doc. I don't wanna miss a beat. Now let's start with the SATA version, which is the IC Nano SATA. This is a all plastic enclosure, a nice plastic, a normal plastic. I wouldn't say too expensive plastic, not too cheap. So I would say average plastic, very easy to use. No tools required, just open it up and then we can put the SSD SATA inside, M.2 in this particular case. And it has a tool for auto adjustment, which is really nice if we want to swap M.2 SSDs from one side to another. This is a great solution. Now, regarding speeds, which is one of the things that you guys always ask, and honestly, yeah, we want to know if it goes or not. Theoretically, we can reach 600 megabytes per second on reads and on writes, but at this moment, I don't have any SSD that can reach that speed, which is available to format it, clean it up, and test it out. Now, I did test with two, one from Transcend with the 32 gigs uh, capacity, which is really low, but nonetheless, for testing out, I could do with low values. It was not a surprise. And honestly, we have to use those SSDs even slower for different kinds of scenarios. Now, I also have a record data, which is a budget brand. And I also tested out and with that one, I got some really not impressive results, but uh, uh, acceptable results. And we are talking about 380 megabytes per second on reads and on writes. But to be fair with the IC Doc enclosure, it will go higher than that. I would say that at least 500, 500 something megabytes per second, it will reach. It will never go on the 600 megabytes because that's the limitation of the technology that we have in hands. But just great. Now, my feedback is that the form factor, the quality is acceptable at a affordable price. So no issues at all to recommend this for someone that wants something simple to take to work or to take to school to save documents and so on and so forth on the fly. Now, when we talk about the IC Doc Nano for NVMe, this is a different story. Now, it's still a affordable solution, but it's all made of a metallic uh, enclosure, brushed aluminum. Well, not all, but the top part and the bottom part is plastic. We can open it up really easily by releasing uh, both sides right over here and I've got the uh, HP SSD inside and then this part is all metallic which is really nice it gives a different look more premium look more premium feeling so really nice touch right over here in terms of uh, using it we don't need any tools uh, as well and we can adjust the SSD size with the automatic tool that it's inside really easy to use and in terms of speeds yes it's completely different because it takes NVMEs right over here and the EXP 950 which goes faster than we can get with the enclosure but at this moment, 1000 megabytes per second on reads and on writes, which is the maximum that we can reach with this technology that we have right over here. So guys, basically, this is it. In terms of feedback, yes, it will reach the maximum that uh, it has right over here, depending on the SSD, of course, if you put a slower SSD, then it will get slower speeds. But with faster SSDs like the HP EX950, yeah, no issues at all. And this one is my favorite from both of them. I will leave links down below so that you guys can check it out and so on and so forth. Hope that the video was useful in some way and if it was, don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there. My name is Roberto George and as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.